Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Aitza. I talk about books, fashion, being black in Spain, personal finance, hair, really whatever I want to talk about, honestly. Um, and today I have a book review for Talia Hibbert's um, Take a Hint, Danny Brown. I don't know if I did a review for Chloe Brown, but I read Chloe Brown and I like that. And now we're going to the story of her middle sister, Danny Brown. So let's get started. So I gave this book 4.5 stars, if I recall correctly. Um, it was high on my list. It's one of my favorite tropes, which is fake relationship slash fake dating trope. Um, because I'm a sucker for a good fake relationship trope. Especially when the people like already have a backstory, which these characters definitely do, and it just made me, it made me swoon. It just okay. First of all, can we talk about this cover? Um, the cover is great. I mean, look at that. Like he's just he's her knight in shining, as Meredith Grey would say, my knight in shining, whatever. And <laughs> that's how that feel, felt. Um. And I love it from her pink hair that we learn about how like she changes her hair a lot. Um, that he's an ex-rugby player. Shout out to the athletes. Love a good, muscly, hunky athlete. Just a big, strong man. And he's brown um, as well. I'm trying to find, go and see what I, um, what I rated this, but I'm pretty sure it's a 4.5. I'm like, 90% sure it's 4.5. Um, yeah, I gave it four stars, so 4.5. Okay, we got that taken care of. Um, yeah, so the cover is just gray, also yellow. Yellow is a great color for darker skinned people in general. It's just, it's just everything. Um, but Danny uh, and Zaf, or Zafir, I hope I'm saying that right, um, I have been friends for a year. She's a PhD student um, or PhD candidate, maybe. I don't know how far along she is in her process or what it looks like in the UK. Um, and Zach, he works at the university of security. They have playful banner in the morning. She brings him coffee and tea or him a coffee and herself a tea, and you know, and she's prayed um, and she's a witch. And she's prayed and asked um, for the ancestors and the gods to send her a man um, or a sex, friends with benefit or whatever. And she's going to be single and stay off sex until he comes. And you just have this hunk of a gorgeous brown man. He is, I want to say he's Pakistani. I'm like 99% sure he's Pakistani. Just because I know his last name is Ansari. And that's a Pakistani last name, but I could be wrong. But like 99% sure he's Pakistani. Um, he was one of the only professional Muslim rugby players and he got a lot of attention. He had a tragic family accident that led to some mental health issues. And so he went away and he's been living as a security guard. Um, there's like a fake fire thingy that happens and he rescues her and hence the cover where he's carrying her out. That, that's not how you carry a person that's how you carry a baby well it's not how you would carry the, an adult person um because the baby is a person kind of kind of um but oh yo someone tagged me and something about police getting arrested i'm sorry guys doing too much um but yeah and it blows up it goes viral someone recognizes him for his rugby days and then they they name him rugby dr rugby because they think that she actually have a phd and he's rugby rugby so funny and they grow this amassing and his niece is like and his niece points into his instagram and starts blowing up and he's technology technologically illiterate and so what they are trying to do is to drum up support for his um, nonprofit, which is where he teaches young male athletes that they can play sports, but also be in touch with their emotions, which I think is very important, especially with men of color, because a lot of times across various communities of color, whether you're black or Asian or Latino or something in between, you're taught, you know, we don't talk about emotions, we don't talk about mental health. 
it's white people stuff that's not something you really need to focus on um and so he's focusing on that aspect of the sport and like you can have both like he, real men talk about their emotions and things like that and so drumming up business for that his niece is like uncle zaf like here you go this is a lot of publicity so he goes to danny and he's like son this is crazy but all these people are obsessed with us will you be my fake girlfriend and she's like yeah sure and in the back of her mind she's like mm, i'm plotting because it's gonna be my fuck buddy um, <laughs> And she's also preparing for a plenary, I think, or like a big conference with her like feminist academic icon and biggest crush. And so they like make that their deadline and to like end the relationship or whatever. And you know, you just go through all the tropes of, oh, we don't want to cross any lines, what's going to happen with our friendship. And it just all develops kind of organically. And it's really cute. Um... My biggest issue was how they broke up. I thought it was kind of dumb. Um, maybe it could have happened a bit sooner in the book. Like it was, it was basically like one minor miscommunication and homegirl just really blew up at him. And that's why I gave it 4.5 stars instead of a full five stars or a 4.75. That really annoyed me. And I just wanted to kind of like shove her head. But what I did like is that she took initiative and she made the steps of kind of like winning him back, which is something that you really don't get a lot in romance, which I appreciate it. Um, it's often the man who goes and does that. Um, yeah, what else? Things I loved. I just, I think it was just like a nice little refresher because if you've been watching any of my reviews lately, we're still in a pandemic. I'm American. My country is killing us and by us i mean black people um yeah so it was just nice to see a black woman get loved and be loved on and to read an interracial romance that does not center whiteness it does not have a white lead like those aren't as common as they should be because interracial relationships and interracial dating just aren't black and white like there's a spectrum of things like we have brown and brown black and brown like just a mix of culture so it was really nice um to see that and also like oh what i really love about zach he reads romance and romance like helped him get in touch with his emotions and it's just oh i love him and it's kind of a spoiler but not really but talia posted this quote on her social media where he got busted um <laughs> listening to audiobooks of romance by danny <laughs> but yeah it's it's good it's warm it's fuzzy it's goodness i i think everyone should read it um the book comes out on tuesday the 22nd that sounds right hold on full our calendar or not it's gonna take forever but i'm pretty sure it comes out on the 22nd yeah, I got that. No, the 23rd. Tuesday the 23rd. My bad. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a great book. I think it... Also, we see some of her sisters and she has friends. That's another thing. He has friends and she has friends. They both have friends. That's another thing. This review is all over the place, so just kind of stay with me because I forgot to write down my notes because um, I haven't written out my actual review yet, which is normally what I do. But they both have friendships and their friends and their families are just kind of playful and leveling with them and... We learn a bit more about um, her grandmother, who we were introduced in the first book, introduced to in the first book, and just learning more about her and how she was an actress. And so it's nice that this world building is continuing, and we see characters who are mature enough in themselves to admit when they're wrong, to admit when they're struggling and they need help, and like working through having real issues with like mental health or like traumatic past because no one is perfect everyone has a past and i guess like figuring letting people decide is this the way where i want to take on with and not choosing for them like not taking away someone's agency um which is important and i'm sorry guys but i haven't worn this wig in a while and i was doing a wig review and change some stuff and now it's not going how i want it to go but we're gonna rock with me yeah okay this looks okay not really but i'm gonna hate this i'm gonna hate this look when i look back at this but it's fine 
um yeah but it's just a great book i've said um too many times but i hope you guys read it and if you have read this uh let me know what you think below or when you read it let me know you could tweet me comment on the blog i have a new blog petitereads.com a new instagram petite.reads mm, i have a new twitter Petite reads basically that's like the bookstagram booktube ish in case you just want to know all about my books and my bookish life instead of everything else that i do which is totally fair um but yeah just read this book you won't regret it i'm not sure how much it cost but yeah and if you have any other fake dating trope books that you can recommend with me ideally with a black lead or a biracial black lead i would appreciate it but really any fake dating trope that's one of my that and fake relationship like that's my that's like one of that and one bed those are like my top tier tropes so this was great this hit all the good feels and buy this book because black women deserve more money so just pay a black woman buy a black woman book support black books read black stories especially ones about like black women just living their lives and being loved on and not having to come from like this big dark childhood trauma and that's what i'm liking about this series is that like it it's just very realistic in general as you just get black storytelling without the like the traumatic pasts and all this stuff just like humans working through their shit also danny is queer i forgot to mention that she's bisexual um yeah and she's proud about it and also i love that she just changed her up there's just like so many things i love about danny and i feel like she's who i want to be as maybe an academic or a phd student um and if i were queer i probably would be her for better or worse so i'm just reading books that are reading me for filth and telling my life story and telling me how to get my act together who needs therapy when you have books okay but <laughs> don't listen to me if you need therapy and you can afford it go to therapy <laughs> i do believe in therapy strongly um but i'm gonna stop rambling now guys this is way too long i hope that this was funny to you and it makes you want to ride ride the book buy the book i mean there's writing that happens in the book so you can ride that too um <laughs> why don't i save this for like when i'm starting and not at the end i'm burying the lead don't bury the lead don't be like me if you do book reviews um but i'm gonna i'm gonna post this on twitter so you guys know if you see this the lead is buried but i still hope you watch and thanks so much for watching <laughs> i don't know why i'm laughing but thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time guys bye